Ciao. Hello every uh, body, hello every uh, console one users and studio one users, lovers. I, I guess I found a little trick, a very small uh, simple trick that can help a lot. At least, uh, at least for me it was a problem. And with this video I think we're gonna reach three achievements uh, in terms of using um, um, uh, console one. As everybody knows, uh, uh, console one can be only used when connected to our computer, and that for that for some people might be a problem. I live in two cities. Some people might live a weekend outside, and maybe they want to set up a song, and they say they think that uh, this song needs the nine thousand, for instance, channel strip, and so to get the base of it, but they just don't cannot open it because they don't have the hardware. And therefore, uh, I indeed emailed the SoftTube support asking whether there was a workaround. Uh, they uh, straightly uh, answered, no, there, are, there is no workaround. Only thing you can do, if you have already opened instances, instances of console one in the song, you can modify, as we already know, the parameters, but then you cannot do anything else. Uh, I was very disappointed, and uh, and I right away I got an idea, and and it was simple and stupid. I thought it was stupid, but I say, okay, what what what's worth? What what I got to lose? Let's try it. I tested it, and it worked. It worked very well. Now uh, I want to say that uh, uh, while doing those tests, I restarted many times the computer, the DAO, the song, of course, in order to see whether the fact that uh, the 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 console one was connected was you know had been connected in the in the session had some implication positive about it. No, not at all. It works. You can try it by yourself, but I won't do it here because I already done it. Uh, so. Uh, what is this about it? I got here uh, a Studio One session with four instrument tracks with different loops for the sake of listening. And uh, we're going to simple uh, charge, uh, loading uh, console one instance. The uh, hardware is not connected. And so we got the parameters here. So let's play the loop. We play the loop. We turn on the equalizer. We move whatever it is. I'm trying to make it sound like I don't know, like shit. I like it. <laughs> and the compressor. Uh, the attack low. The threshold, yeah. Release a bit more. Well, I think it sounds bad enough. The way I like it. We got it here. Okay. But um, but what is this uh, what is this? Uh, the, the, what were we moving? What channel strip is that one? Okay. Um, so let's go to check by connecting. We are now home. We connect our studio one. We open it. Open it here, of course. And we see that uh, we got the SL4000E. Logical, right? Is the default channel strip. And all the crazy movements I did, they are there. Why shouldn't be there? But anyway, this was achievement number one, meaning that we can use the channel strip 4000 anyway, anyhow. Uh, we don't need the hardware at all to use it. Of course, we don't have the, the knob, the knobs we love to go fast back and forth. But still, I think it's an achievement to be able to use it. Maybe many people already knew about it. Uh, but let's go ahead because there is much a uh, bit more to discover. Now the important thing for the next step is to get connected with console one, meaning that we are home, we are connected with the hardware. This is very important, otherwise it cannot work. So on uh, channel two, on channel two, we load another console one instance. Uh, of course, this time we are connected, so we just go here and we want to use class A because we feel that class A is the right choice for this song or uh, uh, for this track. So we just 
anyway we just load a preset we don't care we close it we can close also the plugin instance what are we gonna do now very important we go here the files where we can save files presets and we carry the preset the preset with class hey here it will take the name of the track track 2 and it will tell that it's console 1 is insert but we rename it and we call it as simple as class A boom now uh, now uh, that's that's it we're done so we have to go out right we go out on our island and so we have to disconnect the console 1 so we restart the computer, no problem, we load the software, the one and, and, and the song. But we got still well, this one here. So actually, actually, uh, just for the sake of it, uh, I want to restart it. Just, where, where, where to, revert, revert, revert to the way it was before. Just because we had uh, the console one class A already loaded on the channel, I could have put it on another channel, but just you know, it takes a bit of time. Uh, we'll get there soon, okay? So, track two. Oh, now we could use track one as well, but uh, okay, no, we, we're not gonna go to effect, we're gonna go to file. We take the class one we saved before, and we're gonna put it here. Now we're gonna play the second loop and we're gonna make our nice uh, editing. Uh, well, equalizer was off, EQ was on. Let's slam it. Even more. Okay, and let's use some drive maybe. I don't know. Um, okay, we like it. I don't know. Some people like weird things. I do too. Uh, uh, we close it here. Um, we are outside. We are on our weekend. We go back home. We go back home and of course we connect our console one. Okay. And let's go to see what we got. British class A. Everything is British class A. Everything we moved is there. Uh, the crazy compression this was not so crazy I should have done more mm, bad bad on it was bad on me my bad <laughs> uh, so this is achievement number two and it, it is it is not a little one it means that we can use any channel strip we own regardless of we have or not the hardware connected. Although we have to also, also always take in mind that we need to create this preset while connected. We need to create it home before going to, it, to the island, right? Um, so, I created uh, actually other presets uh, because now we're going to achievement number three. Let's see what it is. So you can see here, I created a folder which is named console one, which I already created some presets of console one, which we can put on track number three, which has got nothing. Uh, of course, we have to the we have to disconnect again because we are back to the island. I got this preset, and um, uh, well, here I got the K90s. It does exactly what it did with the class A. Let's check this one, it's interesting, I guess. Let's put it here. And uh, we say uh, SSL uh, f uh, because that, that's the console. I'm not sure I'm, I'm at the label it wrong. Let's, we'll check it out. 400 uh, as equalizer. Uh, five, five, no, it's all wrong. So this is was the the console. Five sixty as equalizer is the graphic equalizer, and eleven seventy six not even mentioned to say to what it is. So let's go, and let's change. Let's put all of them on top just for the sake to check the whole thing. You know we can actually. Wait, actually, you know what I want to do? Is I want to do it all the way down. Right, so that. Strong and dark. That's good. I really 
below the way it sounds, although I don't know. And um, and uh, and we close it. We are happy. And what we do? We plug here. And we see that. Uh, okay, let's go here. We have that was the British class A of before. We go number three. And we got, as I say, that was oh, okay. Okay, this is why I called it 400 because the the I have to re relabel it. It was the console class A, but I was using the 4000 dynamic shaper. I thought it was a good idea to have the shaper there. Although I don't really like this shaper, but that's my taste, so probably I'll screw it. We got the UAD, UAD APY 560 and the 1176 UAD third achievement we can use without having the hardware connected all the UAD plugins within console one with console one being not connected here as we can see it sounds the same I guess the soundtrack is selected yet and it sounds as weird as it should be we can see by the graphic so those are uh, the three achievements um, I won't stress I will never stress enough that uh, all of this stuff is to be created with the hardware connected. So whatever configuration we like, for instance, people like, I don't know, vocals, the teletronics from UAD, you need to create the preset. Maybe you want to use the 9000 EZQ, but you want to have the teletronics, or another preset, the 9000 uh, EZQ again, but you want to use the 1176 as I did before. There, it's uh, it's really up to you. It's a lot of work. It's not really too much of work because you can just you know make it preset, and it's done. It's very comfortable. You will uh, find it uh, that you have a lot of option right away. There is a little bit of work to do, but that enables you to use any kind of configuration you want without having uh, the channel one connected. Uh, in this case, specific case, I wanted to use uh, the 560 because I want you to notice that uh, if you open the plugins or the 560 is this one right track 3 yeah unfortunately the plugins will keep giving you the uh, 4000 uh, um, parameters which is very inconvenient with the graphic equalizer so whether you go by ear or in some cases it's totally useless you just uh, load the UAD plugin and it works better Although, uh, I wouldn't say it's always the case, it's yes and no, you know, it really depends. Because in such a case, basically, we know that we're using the British class A as a channel strip, meaning the input, the high cut is from the class A, the UAD, the, the equalizer, the API, not very comfortable to use with, uh, with the plugin, and the drive is from the class A. So... You know, it's up to you whether it's convenient or not. For some plugins, it's definitely more convenient because they are they correspond much more with the real parameters in this case, really. And this is therefore, I really wanted to do it with the 560 to show also the drawback of it. Anyway, for me, uh, it was really nice to discover. It's very useful. And um, I hope you guys enjoy the video, uh, but most of all, they help some of you as it did it for me, as much as it did for me. And thank you for listening. Ciao.